I want to look today at identifying mesocompounds and in particular I want us to analyze these two, these two compounds. One of them is meso and one of them is not a meso compound and I want you to remember that a meso compound has a plane of symmetry in it. So what that amounts to is that one half of the molecule is the mirror image of the other half of the molecule. And in a molecule like this, a lot of times people's first instinct is to look at the compound where both of my substituents, in this case the chlorines, are pointed in the same direction and say that that must be the cis compound, I mean the meso compound. But we need to look at this in a little bit more detail. And in order to do this, I want to start off by looking at the three-dimensional models of each of these. So I've got a three-dimensional model of the top one over here and a three-dimensional model of the bottom one over here. And what I want us to do is try to figure out if there's a plane of symmetry right down the bond between the carbons that contain the two chlorines. So I'm going to rotate these molecules so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to, we'll focus on the top one first. And when I rotate that, rotate that, you can see at least the way that this is oriented right now, they're definitely not a plane of symmetry because this is pointed up and this is pointed down and so on. And if we look at the bottom one actually, the one that we might think is a meso compound, that we might think has a plane of symmetry, you can see at least the way it's oriented right now, there's not a mirror plane. One chlorine is pointed off to the left, the other is pointed off to the right. These CH2 groups are this way, this is that way, and so on. I've got some slightly different models of these where I've actually drawn in where the mirror plane would be, and I think we can see it a little bit better in these models. I want to start with the one that might appear to be uh, meso first, the one where the two chlorines are pointing in the same direction. That's this model right here. And if I rotate it so that we can look at the plane of symmetry between going down between the two molecules, if there was one, I think you can see that there is not a plane of symmetry there. Um, the left half of the molecule is not the mirror image of the right half of the molecule. You can see at this particular orientation, this chlorine is sticking up this way, that chlorine is sticking out that way, and so on. So there's no plane of symmetry right between those two bonds. On the other one, the way I have it drawn right now, is no plane of symmetry either. This chlorine is coming towards me, this chlorine is going away from me. So right now, the way these molecules are oriented, I can't really tell which one is a meso compound. So does that mean that neither of them is a meso compound? It actually doesn't. What we need to do in order to visualize this is we need to rotate around this bond right here. I'm going to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this bond right here. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. And when I do that, I think you can see, well, when I do that, what you get is this or this. And I think we can see that in this case, when I rotate around this, this definitely has a plane of symmetry right here. Whereas the one where the two chlorines were pointing in the same direction before definitely does not have a plane of symmetry between them. And if we want to look at that on the three-dimensional models, we can do that as well. So this is this molecule right here where the chlorines were originally pointing away from one another. And if I rotate around this bond right here, to get like that, I get something like this. And I think we can see that there's a plane of symmetry right there. The chlorines are to, in the same direction, the methyl groups are in the same direction, and so on. And I can do the same thing for the other molecule. I'll try to do that now. So I started like this, and I'm going to rotate it the way I rotated the other one. And I think you can see that there is not symmetry there. I've got a better model of this that I want to put up, and I'll do that right now. So these are the two rotated molecules again the top one here and the bottom one here with the planes of symmetry drawn in. And what I think you could see is if I rotate this just like this, so we're looking right down the plane of symmetry, you can see that the left half and the right half for this one are perfect mirror images of one another. Whereas for this one, um, they are not because these chlorines for one thing are pointed in opposite directions.
And if I rotate a little more, you can see that this methyl group or ethyl group is up and the other ethyl group is out. Whereas on this one, again, they perfectly mirror one another. So this is the one with the plane of symmetry. This is the meso compound. So how can you tell which one is the meso compound if you don't have access to 3D models and you can't rotate the molecules and draw planes of symmetry like this? Well, there's definitely an easier way to do it, and it involves assigning stereochemistry. So what I want to do is I want to assign stereochemistry of each of the stereocenters in this molecule. This has two stereocenters, and this has two stereocenters. And I'm not going to through, go through covering all of the assigned priorities to all the different groups and how we come up with the stereochemical assignments. I, I did that in a different video. What I want to say is when you do that, you're going to find that this stereocenter is R, this stereocenter is S. And on the other one, we have an R and an R. And the thing to remember when you have a meso compound is that a meso compound with two stereocenters, one of the stereocenters will be R, the other will be S, because S is the mirror image of R and R is the mirror image of S. So in order for there to be a mirror plane here, this stereocenter has to be R, this one has to be S. If both of the stereocenters are the same, R and R, or S and S, it's not going to be a meso compound. So that's how you would assign or determine the meso or non-meso without having to rotate it and draw mo make molecules and models and stuff. Meaning that this one is the meso compound.